Hello friends, welcome to PharmaRogs. In today's video lecture, we will make the solution of GPAT 2018 questions. So in this part 1 video, we will solve the question number 1 to 15. So let's check the questions. So here is the question number 1. Uh, which of the following about the varicella zoster virus is not true? Option A. Varicella develops after an individual is exposed to VZV for the first time. VZV it means varicella zoster virus for the first time. Option B. Herpes zoster developed from reactivation of the virus later in the life. Option C. There are no vaccine for this virus. And the option D is the infection results in post herpetic neuralgia. So this question is about that. Which of the following about the varicella zoster virus is not true? So in this four lines. Uh, one option is not correct about the VZV. So let's check the right answer. The correct answer is C. There are no vaccine for this virus. So आप लोगों को हम ये बता दें कि जो varicella zoster virus है VZV, इसकी अभी तक कोई भी vaccines जो है वो develop नहीं की गई है. Okay, so only by some uh, antiviral medicines हम उसको protect जो है वो कर सकते हैं but still there is no any vaccine for this virus so correct answer is the option C there are no vaccines for this virus let's check about the question number 2 question number 2 is the following is not true for furosemide option A it causes hypokalemia. Option B causes hypo hyporysemia. Option C hypomagnesemia. And option D acts by inhibiting the sodium reabsorption. So we have to find out the incorrect option for the furosa mide. So let's check the correct answer. Correct answer is B. It causes hypouricemia so it does not cause the hypocerimia and this is the wrong option let's check the question number three which of the following are the mechanisms of action of digitalis glycoside in this first one is the inhibition of sodium potassium ATPase enzyme Second one is reduction in the auriculoventricular conduction rate. Third one is increase in the cardiac output. And the fourth one is acceleration of auriculoventricular conduction rate. So the option A is only third one. Option B 1, 2 and 3. Option C 2, 3 and 4 and the option D is the only one. So this is the PQRS type questions which was asked in the GPET 2018 paper. So in this way we find which sentence is correct. So the option A is given only 3. In the option B it is a 1, 2 and 3. While in the option C it is 2, 3 and 4. While in the option D only 1 so let's check the correct answer correct answer is the B it is 1 2 and 3 so first three sentence of these options are correct so the mechanism of the action of the digitalis glycosides are it inhibits the sodium potassium ATPase enzyme then it also make the reduction in the auriculoventricular conduction rate and it is also increase the cardiac output so the option 1 2 and 3 is the correct answer let's check the question number 4 identify antihistamine drug with additional serotonin receptor blocking activity and good appetite stimulant property 
सो हियर आर द ऑप्शंस ऑप्शन ए सिप्रोहेप्टाडीन ऑप्शन बी सेमेटेडीन ऑप्शन सी रेनेटिडीन एंड ऑप्शन डी इज क्लोरफिनारेमाइन सो आइडेंटिफाई द एंटी हिस्टेमाइन ड्रग विथ एडिशनल सेरोटोनिन रिसेप्टर ब्लॉकिंग एक्टिविटी एंड गुड एपेटाइट स्टिम्युलंट प्रॉपर्टी सो लेट्स चेक द करेक्ट आंसर करेक्ट आंसर इज द ऑप्शन ए सिप्रोहेप्टाडीन सिप्रोहेप्टाडीन हैविंग ए एक्टिविटी ऑफ एडिशनल सेरोटोनिन रिसेप्टर ब्लॉकिंग एक्टिविटी एंड द गुड एपेटाइट स्टिम्युलंट प्रॉपर्टी सो ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर लेक्स चेक द क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग साइड इफेक्ट ऑफ ए सी इनहिबिटर्स रिजल्ट फ्रॉम द इनहिबिशन ऑफ ब्रेडिकाइन इन ब्रेक डाउन सो हियर आर द ऑप्शन ऑप्शन इज द एनालजेसिया ऑप्शन बी हाइपरग्लाइसेमिया ऑप्शन सी प्रोडक्सी कफ एंड द ऑप्शन डी ड्राई कफ so here is the correct answer correct answer is the d it is a dry cough and we all know about that dry cough is the main and the famous side effect of the ece inhibitors and ece inhibitors mein jo drug aati hai wo hai captopril lisinopril and enalapril jo jo piche aprl april jo lagta hai wo sab jo drugs hai wo ece inhibitors ki aur ece inhibitors ki jo main side effect hai wo hai dry cough let's check the question number 6 which of the following describes the effect of sodium chromoglycate which of the following describes the effect of sodium chromoglycate here are the options option a mast cell degranulation option b mast cell stabilization ऑप्शन सी ल्यूकोट्राइन एंटागोनिज्म एंड द ऑप्शन डी ल्यूकोकॉर्टिकॉइड रिसेप्टर एगोनिज्म सो हियर इज द करेक्ट आंसर इज द बी मास सेल स्टेबिलाइजेशन डिस्क्राइब्स द इफेक्ट ऑफ सोडियम क्रोमोग्लाइकोलेट क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट करेक्ट फॉर Myasthenia gravis. Option A: Down regulation of nicotinic receptor leads to myasthenia gravis. Option B: Tuberculin is used to treat myasthenia gravis. Option C: It is an autoimmune disorder. And the option D: Thymectomy is the treatment opinion opin option for myasthenia gravis. so correct answer is the b tuberculin is used to treat myasthenia gravis it is the correct answer not so it is not used so the option b is the right tuberculin is used to treat myasthenia gravis it is the false one so myasthenia gravis it means medications such as cholinesterase inhibitors medications such as pyrido pyridostigmin enhance the communications between the nerve and the muscles then corticosteroids such as prednisone inhibits the immune system limiting antibody production and immunosuppressants are also used in the treatment so in the myasthenia gravis treatment mainly pyridostigmin prednisolone and the immunosuppressants are use where tuberculin is not used in the treatment of myasthenia gravis let's check the next question question number 8 the mechanism of action of ciprofloxacin here are the options option a inhibition of protein synthesis by interacting with 30s ribosome option b inhibition of protein synthesis by interacting with 50s ribosomes option c is inhibition of dna synthesis by interacting with topo isomerase enzyme and the option d inhibition of cell wall synthesis so we have to find out the correct mechanism of action of the drug 
ciprofloxacin so let's check the correct answer and the correct answer is the c it inhibits the dna synthesis by interacting with topoisomerase enzyme let's go for the question number 9 select the beta lactamase inhibitor option a graciofulvin option b clavulanic acid option b sulfamethoxazole and the option d tetracycline so correct answer is b clavulanic acid clavulanic acid is the selective beta lactamase inhibitor let's check the question number 10 question number 10 is the histamine concentration is highest in option a beta cells option b mast cells option c lymphocytes and the option d adipocytes so correct answer is the option b mast cell so histamine's concentration is the highest in the mast cell let's check question number 11 which of the following is a suitable antidote for mercury poisoning here are the options option a is the atropine option b dimecarpol option c naloxone and the option d is nalorphine so correct answer is the b dimecarpol dimecarpol is the right answer for mercury poisoning so this is the famous question we are usually asked in the various competitive exam and this was also asked in the zip 2018 paper so let's go for the next question question number 12 which of the following is a shortest acting cholinesterase inhibitors and listed below option a neostigmine option b pyridostigmin option c androphonium and the option d physostigmine the correct answer is the c androphonium question number 13 hypodermosclisis refers to which route of drug administration hypodermosclisis refers to which route of drug administration option a sublingual option b intradermal option b subcutaneous and the option d intravenous so correct answer is the option b intradermal let's check the question number 14 which of the following is not not true about the ebola virus disease in short form it is called a evd so let's check the options option a it spreads through human to human transmission via direct contact option b antiviral drug are approved by fda to mitigate the infection option c diagnosis test includes the elisa and the option d the virus is named after a river 16 so let's check the correct answer correct answer is the option number uh, b antiviral drugs are approved by fda to mitigate the infections so truth is there still there is no any drugs are approved by fda to cure the ebola virus disease Let's check the question number fifteen from the GPE two thousand eighteen paper. Question number fifteen is which of the following is not a gene associated with breast cancer? Which of the following is not a gene associated with breast cancer? Option A, BRCA one. Option B, HCR two. Option C, BRCA two. And the option D is chrm1 
सो करेक्ट आंसर इज द डी सी एच आर एम वन सो हियर आर द वन टू फिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द जी फेट टू थाउजेंड एटीन पेपर नेक्स्ट वीडियो इज ऑन द जी पेट टू थाउजेंड एटीन पेपर पार्ट टू एंड इट विल कवर द क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन टू थर्टीन सो टिल देन solve this 15 questions from the gpa 2018 paper the next video we will upload the tomorrow and you can solve the next questions in the part 2 from question number 16 to 13 if you like this content about the video then you must like this video and share this video with your friends so they can also make the benefits of this questions and subscribe our channel for such more educational videos related to our pharmacy professions all the best friend and good luck